What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement, bringing you a brand new action figure review, and yes, catch-up week continues. Today we are looking at Vice Admiral Rampart. This is a Walmart exclusive from Star Wars The Black Series. This is, of course, one of the newest characters to get a figure just recently introduced in the Bad Batch, now already available in action figure form. Pretty much anyone with eyes could see that coming because this is ultimately just a new head on the Imperial officer body. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. We've got the brand new Galaxy packaging here with the red Bad Batch logo down at the bottom. It says Vice Admiral Rampart there. On the side of the box here, you can see a nice mural art image of the Admiral. On the back here, we have the bio. You could go ahead and pause it, read it there. He is number eight in the Bad Batch line. We've got our logo right here on the side. Of course, we got the barcode and all that good stuff. Nothing on the top, pretty much standard packaging. So let's go ahead and dive into the accessories, one of which is actually pretty cool to finally see it in a normal package. So let's go ahead. First up, we'll briefly mention his sidearm here, which of course we have seen in the past. There's no paint apps on it this time around. The sculpting is good though, as we expect from most Star Wars blasters here, but yeah, not a whole lot new going on here, but still another blaster for the arsenal. And unfortunately, the Admiral does not have weapon storage. And right here, folks, is what I am pretty excited about. We have the mouse droid. Previous to this figure, the only way to get this was actually the Galaxy's Edge exclusive First Order Villains pack, which all the figures ended up getting single released. However, the mouse droid was still exclusive to the set. Until now, I do have the other mouse droid as well, so we can do a quick comparison and see that, yeah, the paint apps are actually different between the two. A lot more mud on this new one here, and of course it just looks to be made in a darker plastic. Although you can see it is the same mold. And yeah, there's just some minor paint differences between the two. Still got those two lines on the back there. Otherwise, minor differences, but it is still exactly the same. So I'm happy to have another mouse droid, and it's awesome for people who don't have a mouse droid to begin with. And yes, it does roll. And now it's time to take a look at Vice Admiral Rampart. And here is the Admiral out of packaging with the mouse droid as well. And yeah, right off the bat, you can see that this is the Tarkin body, but with a brand new head featuring a realistic portrait of what Vice Admiral Rampart may look like if he was a real character, because of course this is based on animation. So it is kind of cool to see the interpretation that they went with. I do feel like it is a little off from what I would expect between like an animation and what my mind's eye would think. But either way, I mean, you could still tell that it is Rampart there. They really did a nice job with the cocked eyebrow. Certainly sells his sort of arrogant and cocky attitude that he has in Bad Batch. But yeah, other than that, this figure really doesn't have a whole lot new going on with it. Of course, you know, there'll be some differences here between the two figures, like the rank plate and such, and I'll show those in detail. But let's go ahead and start with what is new, and that is the head sculpt. Taking a look, it does actually look really clean. The photoreal application was perfectly applied here, although you can see that he does indeed suffer from shiny face syndrome, although we've had a cure for that for a while. And if you want to know, I do have a video about how to fix these faces. You can see there will be a link in the description. But yeah, that expression does look awesome. Like I said, the cocked eyebrow looks really good. The butt chin, I feel like, was definitely important to be included with the character. The hair is pretty accurate as well. You can see it's just kind of like a combed back brown hair. And the paint does look pretty cleanly applied. You can see the ear there as well. So yeah, it's a good sculpt here. You can see the paint definitely missed a little bit behind the ear there, but that's not too bad. But the new head here does look pretty damn awesome. It's going to look great with all the other officers that have been released so far so i was more than happy to add another officer to the rankings here even though our time with him in bad batch was very short i definitely hope we see more in season two 
because for obvious reasons, and I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen Bad Batch, but this character was involved in a very pivotal moment. So yeah, I would definitely check out Bad Batch if you haven't already to get an idea of the villainy that this character is capable of. Otherwise, moving down here, like I said, it is the Tarkin body. You can see the ranking plate is changed to reflect his rank. There is also blue here on these little data sticks. And the plastic is a whole lot shinier than Tarkin here. So side by side, down to the ruffles here. Yeah, you can definitely see it is the same exact body. Tarkin, however, does not have any shininess to him, really. A little bit on the head there, but the uniform is also pretty matte. But for some reason, on Rampart here, the chest is really, really shiny. I might even want to hit that with the dull coat. The belt here has a little bit of silver paint for the buckle and a little button on the side there. And yeah, it is mostly just gray plastic here. Not a whole lot detail wise. The sculpting is good on this body, definitely, but we have seen it a few times before. And this is just another example. I'm not mad at the reuse though, because just give me all the Imperial officers you can. I love building out my Imperial display, so I was more than happy to pick this figure up. It is unfortunately a Walmart exclusive, like I said earlier, so it is a little bit harder to find, but I have to imagine that this figure, it'll probably stick around for a while. But yeah, there you go. There is a look at the details here. You can see that there's tons of reuse going on. We get the new head here, but to me, I think it's all right. They change the rank plate they give us a new head it's a brand new imperial officer for the shelf so now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation so with the new head here we can see there's actually no looking up to be had just a little bit in terms of looking down the range there is pretty stiff maybe if i ooh, that's tough that might be a little frozen there Okay, so it's kind of hard to say there, but that's about the range of movement. Of course, it spins around. You do get just a little bit of tilt both ways. The shoulders do move out very far here. We also get rotation. A single jointed elbow here that gives you 90 degrees. We also get a trigger finger hand that rotates around and unfortunately has a horizontal hinge. Another telltale sign that this is an older body even though Hasbro is guilty of doing it on new figures too. But yeah, on the other side here for the grip, horizontal hinge and rotation there. Definitely a little bit of a knock here, but again, you know what you're getting into with this figure. But if you don't have any officers, I guess this would also help you know that this body is dated. So if you're wondering why the Vice Admiral is so lacking, well, there's your answer. Crunch-wise here, we do get actually a decent range forward for a Black Series figure, not gonna lie. And going back, decent range as well pretty much just standing very straight then we do have swivel and we can get a little bit of side to side there ever so slightly just a little bit moving down for the legs here you can see that they can kick up with the foot on the ground about that far of course we've got the soft plastic down here on the skirt piece so it does inhibit the articulation just a little bit if you lift it up and then put the foot on the ground you can see that it does 90 degrees there. Splits wise, that's about what you get. Pretty decent kickback. We do have thigh swivel. Double jointed knees that are pretty chunky and bulky so you don't get too much range out of them. And finally for the feet, they do go all the way down, up a decent amount, and they do have ankle pivot, of course. So pretty standard articulation here for a couple years old Black Series figure. It has the slightly improved elbows, no butterfly joints, still has the double knees. However, the bulky design of the character and the pants here doesn't give you that much range out of them. Although, what would you really be dynamically posing your Imperial officers for anyway? So yeah, the articulation is definitely passable, but is dated. All right, and here we are at the final segment, the comparisons. Let's go ahead and check out how Rampart stacks up against some other Imperial officers and of course various other Bad Batch characters. First up, we of course have Tarkin and Admiral Piet. You can see that yes, they are all three the same exact body, 
with various degrees of shininess to them. But of course, I do think it is interesting that Vice Admiral and Admiral are the same ranking plate. Is that actually incorrect, perhaps? But either way, you can see all three figures on the same body, so they stand about the same height. Moving on to some troopers, we've got the Walmart exclusive Shock Clone Trooper and the Elite Squad Trooper. Then some Bad Batch Black Series here with Crosshair and Hunter, followed by Wrecker and Tech. Moving on to some model kit action, we've got the Shadow Storm Trooper and the Mandalorian. And last but certainly not least, the SH Figure Arts Tank Pilot and the Mafex First Order Storm Trooper. And there you have it. There was my review for the brand new Walmart exclusive Vice Admiral Rampart from Star Wars The Black Series, the latest Imperial officer to join the rankings here. So is this figure really anything new? No, it's mostly what we've seen before. If you are someone like me and you just want more Imperial officers, then definitely pick this figure up. But otherwise, I can definitely see why some people would actually pass on it. It's a little light on accessories. Of course, you do get the mouse droid, which is pretty awesome. However, the standard blaster pistol there definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. I think they did nail the interpretation of Rampart in live action. I think they look pretty awesome together and will probably look even better once I hit Rampart with a dull coat. So... Yeah, there you go. I would say if you're a hardcore Black Series collector like myself, you probably already picked this one up, but I would definitely recommend it for the Imperial Shelf. Otherwise, though, I could definitely see this figure honestly being a little bit of an easy pass. So that is my review. That's what I've got to say about Vice Admiral Rampart. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Of course, we do also have a channel membership for 99 cents a month. You can become a member of the Basement Dweller Army. You get a Clone Trooper name badge and also some really cool emojis to use in our chats and live streams, which are on every Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Of course, I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.